With the launch of Nexus Insights 6.0, it might be helpful to look at the tool through a series of use cases to understand its capabilities. And in this particular use case, I want to address the challenge of overcoming information overload. So what do I mean by that? The problem statement here is with any kind of system, including Nexus Insights, is any system that collects and analyzes lots of data from lots of different sources will naturally have a tendency to want to show you as much of that data as possible. And sometimes it's more than you want to see for the task at hand. So the use case that I want to show here is how you can learn to quickly tune Nexus Insights to only show it you the things that you care about when you care about them because that helps you drill in to achieve the task at hand and, and solve the problem or become aware of a certain condition or set of information. So in the rest of this use case video, I'm going to take you through a number of different things that you can set to tune Nexus Insights to make it the most powerful for the task that you're trying to achieve. These are the series of things I'm going to show you. I won't read them to you. I'm actually going to go through them one by one and teach you how to use them. So the first thing I want to show you is uh, the concept of site groups and sites. So let's actually take a look at a real Nexus Insights deployment uh, and how we, how we do that. So when you first log into Nexus dashboard, this is as a user, you're shown this new concept of one view. So what does that mean? Well, if you look at the map here and you look at the two red dots, these are actually representing two completely independent ACI fabrics in two completely different geographical areas. And you can, of course, hover over them and you can see that I've got one in Amsterdam and a little bit of information about that. And you can see that I've got another one in Barcelona and some information about that. What I want to do, though, is I want to drill in and look at what's going on with those sites with Nexus Insights. So under the Services tab, uh, I can click on Insights and that will take my browser to the view of what's going on with those sites and all of the things that Nexus Insights can show me. So when we look at our, our overview here, you can see from the, the high level view, we have a dashboard, we have alert summary, critical anomalies, categories, a whole bunch of information going on. And this is what I mean by information overload, because you can see, oh, I have 45 critical things to look at, 42 major things to look at, and so on and so on. Where do I start? Uh, so the thing I want to show you here is is a concept called site groups. And so what is a site group? A site group is just a collection of independent, in this case, ACI fabrics. They could also be DCNM fabrics, but independent fabrics that are sending their telemetry or their information to Nexus Insights for analysis. And if you remember, I have two sites. So I've actually configured a site group called AMS-BCN uh, and you can see uh, all this information here about both sites all in one. So you can see I've got, you know, 45 critical, 42 major, and so on and so on. But the thing is, is I'm, let's say I want to just look at a problem in one, only one of those sites. I don't need to see the high level all sites in the site group. So if I click on this little arrow, there's my two sites. And I can say, listen, I only want to look at what's going on in Amsterdam. And you can see if I sort of tune my my view i've only got 14 let's say critical things and 35 so it's a lot less right and i can see specific information about amsterdam so if i click on that and say select notice my view up here has changed and i'm only looking at the things that are specific to the site in amsterdam i'm not at this point caring about what's going on in barcelona so that helps me at least on one level tune my view and look at the things that i care about the next thing I want to show you is always remember to set your time range. So back in Nexus Insights, uh, you can see over here at the top, this overview is telling me I'm showing you everything that's happened in the last two hours. And in the last two hours, maybe I've registered multiple alerts of the same thing over and over again, or new alerts, or etc. But let's say I'm troubleshooting a problem right now. Well, I have a choice to set my, my time range here, and I can go, you know, last week, last day, last six hours, I can set a date range, I can set a time window, I can be very specific. But let's say I'm troubleshooting a problem right now. I say only show me what's going on in the last 15 minutes and click apply. So you can see here my number of things that I might need to look at here is now become a lot more manageable because I'm only looking at the site Amsterdam in this in the site group AMS BCN and I'm only looking at the last 15 minutes and you can see my 
number of critical and major things is starting to now come into, let's say, manageable numbers, right? I can, I can start to drill in on the things that I care about. And it's really that easy. And as you click through all of the tools that you see on the left, always remember to set the time range for what you care about most for the task that you're trying to achieve. Even if you want to update it, you can even click in the right and set some auto refresh settings or manually refresh now and always be current if that's what you care about. But it's, it's a capability that you have and it's just that easy. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is this concept of filters and how filters are your friends. So in Nexus Insights, I'm, I'm back to looking at both of my sites as a whole. So this is the top level view and, and you can see I've got a, a lot of things going on. And if I scroll down here, you can see uh, here anomalies by breakdown and I've got a lot of uh, pretty high count, 579 things to do. That's, that's too much. So let's click on that and let's get into that view and we can see that they're categorized into different things like forwarding or change analysis flows, etc. And currently when I click, the box I want you to pay attention to here is filters. I'm gonna clear this acknowledgement here. So I'm just gonna say, I've got nothing filter. I'm looking at everything in the last two hours across all of my sites in this group. 681 things to look at. It's like, okay, that's too much. Let's use filters to, to, to drill down into this. So let's say here, the first thing that I wanna do is, perhaps, you know, if, if I look down here, I can see a lot of errors. Like for example, this spine in, in Amsterdam, I'm getting a critical alert, a fabric external interface down, operational up, and it looks like it's registering one for each interface, right? But let's say my, my network team has already looked at that and has already uh, acknowledged, and if you hover over it, you can see that this one has been acknowledged, but say this one hasn't. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna filter on Acknowledgement. So acknowledgement equals false. So remove all of the ones that have been acknowledged. So someone else is taking care of that. I don't need to worry about. So acknowledgement is false. But I still have too many. 579 uh, things to do. So here I'm thinking, well, let's, you know, let's drill in on, on thing, only things that are critical, right? So we can go into our filter list here and we can also say that the severity is equal to uh, critical, right? So now I've drilled down okay, 38 things. Okay, things are getting a little bit better, uh, but maybe even 38 things might be more than I care about. In fact, you can see here that I've got that same condition on a spine in Barcelona of fabric interface down and up. No one's acknowledged it yet, but I'll show you a little bit how to clean, clean that up a little bit later. But you're thinking, okay, hmm, I don't necessarily care about, let's say, forwarding. So I can say here that um category is not anything to do with forwarding and you, okay now i've got i've got 15 right i've got 15 and let's say i was working on something to do with compliance right because i see that in the list maybe here i could say category is equal to compliance and you can see now by using filters i've drilled in to critical things that i care about right now uh, 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 things to do with compliance, and then I can click into the anomaly and get more data and start troubleshooting. I'm not going to show you that this is really about filtering, but filters can absolutely be your friends to help you focus your view into the things that you care about. Building on that concept of filters, uh, I wanted to talk about a related topic where you can use other kinds of inputs that you devise or you can use things like tags and names that you come up with that can be included in the filter search because up until now we've only been using let's say variables that we have set out of the box but what if you want to set your own things to filter on so if we go back here to Nexus Insights let's let's clear all of these things uh, and we can we can see we can see our list here right so um, let's say for example I'm gonna quickly filter on category of um, what did we say was compliance right so we've got we've got 22 things uh, going on here over the last two hours across uh, both of our sites here and we can see some of them are critical some of them are, are informational now if you if you uh, click on an anomaly you can either do it here on the right or you can click here you can acknowledge it yourself which would then change its state to acknowledge verification status assigned to 
you can add a comment like let's say you're troubleshooting this and you want to sort of make notes as you go or you could say you know manage text so what I'm gonna do here is I am going to assign this one to somebody and I'm gonna assign it to myself so assign to to Joe right and I'm gonna assign this critical one uh, to me as well um, and then I'm gonna assign let's say maybe I can do two I can say I want to add a tag and I can say my tag is um, uh, not important and hit enter which creates a tag called not dash important and I can say save now let's say you know I'm, I'm back to you know the beginning where I got 682 things I'm looking at but I say okay I've assigned certain tasks to someone on my team and that person can come in here and say assignee contains equals does not equal and in this case I'll say anything assigned to me uh, and there's only three things I had done this earlier it looks like I was working on some other test but there's only three things assigned to Joe so now I can just work on those three things update my trouble ticket etc et uh, and, and move forward I don't have to care about everything else because someone else might be might be looking at that uh, then I can say uh, maybe I only want to look at something that is has the tag or contains uh, important or not important so I can just look for the word contains the word important hit enter and you can see here that I've got the two the two uh, informational ones that I didn't necessarily care were important now they are active but you can see over here is um, they have been not assigned actually but they have the tag of in this case it was not important and again you can then click into the anomaly and go about your business etc right so that's uh, that's something that you can do uh, in terms of um, you know allowing you to build the search patterns that make sense for you you can also add verification status in this case it, it's new we can say listen I'm working on it so it's in progress uh, I can also um, add a comment and I can say you know I'm working on this uh, today um, you know don't nobody else touch and I can say save so I've got you know other pieces of information that that I can that I can that I can use to help organize all of this data that I'm looking at okay the next quick thing that I want to talk about are is something called alert rules which is a, a, f a function in Nexus Insights and this allows me to hide about things that I don't care about let me show you a good example of that so back in Nexus Insights and again I'm back to the, the top level of you I've got 682 things to look at across both of my sites in the last two hours and you can see I've got this alert spine to AMS I've got this fabric external interface operational down admin up and it's a critical severity well as it turns out I don't care about that you know my spines all interfaces are admin up whether I'm using them or not and to me it's not critical but to NI it is I want to filter out that noise because I don't care about this one and I don't want it to, to show up so what I can do is I can create what's called an alert rule so if you go up back up to the top and you click on the three little dots you can say configure site group and it brings you to a new window and we want to look at something called alert rules now what I've done here is I created a rule called ignore spine interface noise now let's let's actually go in and take a look because this one is actually enabled so I'm gonna go into the that rule um, and you can see here uh, I've made some match criteria so I said listen in the site only nd-ams only one of my two sites in the category of forwarding because that alert has to do with forwarding at the subcategory of interface there was an event title called exactly that this was the message in fact if I clicked here you can actually see it's a it's a pull down menu right so now this particular event is specific to the spines itself so I don't have to go any further but what and I can mark uh, severity as critical and of course I can filter on other things I can also add a specific object match rule so if I wanted to match a kind of BD or an EPG or a, a route or a subnet or a VRF or a tenant only I could do that in this case I kind of want it for the whole fabric so I'm not going to go that deep I just want you to know that you can match as specifically as you as your heart desires the, so this is the match criteria the next thing is 
what do you want Nexus Insights to do once it matches that? So there's two choices that you currently have. Maybe we'll add more later. But the first is acknowledge. So I tick this box here that says acknowledge. So this will automatically acknowledge all of the new detected anomalies that, anomalies that match. You can also say go back in time and get the ones that you know were already existing and acknowledge those too. You can also customize the anomaly if you want. So I tick this box, right? And in customize, I made my own recommendation. Our IT has determined that this alert is expected and can be safely ignored. So I've, I've opted for that as well. So that's the rule that I have enabled. So what that is, is, uh, and I've got another one here, it's the same thing, but this is for you know Barcelona. It's not enabled right now, so I, it's simply doing the same thing, but for Barcelona, and I can enable it. So notice here, spine two in, in Amsterdam, I've got that critical severity. Let's go through and say acknowledged equals true, because according to my alert rule, those should not be showing up, well, not show up, they're acknowledged, so I can filter them out, right? So you can see here, I'm sorry, acknowledged equals true, I, I made a mistake. I meant acknowledged equals false. So you can see here, and I want the category to be forwarding. So again, filters are my friends. Uh, and I can see here that all of the, the things for Amsterdam have pretty much dropped out, right? Only the ones uh, for, for the spines in, in Barcelona. Uh, I could just simply go back to my site group, go to my alert rules, and basically I want that noise to be gone for Barcelona, enable. Uh, now it might take a few minutes to kind of you know catch up, but you know if I were to come back you know 10, 15 minutes later, these things would all be auto acknowledged, and that's 388 things that I would not have to worry about, right? So those alert rules can be your fr uh, friends as well and help you uh, sort of tune down the noise that you don't think is actually important. Let's go actually b back and look. Uh, at the acknowledgement equals true. These are the ones I did for Amsterdam. And let's actually go into this particular alert. And you can actually see that my the recommendation comes from the system, but then my additional one that I customized is my own message to say, you can safely ignore this, right? So somebody comes along and looks at it, they'll know it's okay to, to ignore it. And the last thing that I wanna talk about here in this use case is ways to make Nexus Dashboard and Nexus Insights more proactive. So in Nexus Insights, again, at the top, I'm going to go and configure my site group. Now, what I mean by proactive is maybe I don't want to log in and check the dashboard every day. Maybe I want the system to contact me when there's something that I deem important that I should know about. So in the configure site group, there's something that you can do here called export data. And you can see here for the site of, uh, I've created, a, I have created a rule that for the site of Amsterdam, I want you to email me every day and I want you to only show me certain things. So let's actually go into the rule itself. So I've, I've called this, this, this rule Joe, this configuration. And basically every day uh, I have mode basic or I have advanced, which you know allows you to, to get uh, more specific, but in basic, I can say, I want to know about all critical anomalies and critical advisories, and I want to know if anybody deletes anything. So like audit logs are also a, a part of this as well. Uh, so basically say I should get an email every day uh, with this information proactively from the system. So I don't have to maybe log in or maybe I forget to log in or I'm busy, but I can always check my phone while I'm at the beach and say, oh, you know, oh, I, I'm aware that we've got these uh, high priority things. Let me get my team working on it. You can always add more if you desire and so on and so on to tell the system this is what I care about and this is who you should alert about it. Uh, and that's really it for, for this particular feature of exporting this data and making ND proactive. So those are my tips. That's uh, my use case here in tuning all of the power of Nexus, in, uh, Nexus Insights, all of the information, but making it show you the things that you care about in the time frame that you care about uh, with all of the things you know that you're trying to do at the, the moment that you're using it. So I hope you've enjoyed this, this video and this use case, and I hope that you enjoy the power of Nexus Insights 6.0. Thank you very much.